So, hello, welcome to the ISP3080 development kit unboxing video. Uh, so, this video, as the title implies, it's um, to show you what you get in the ISP3080 development kit. Um, but before we dive into that, let's first just remind ourselves about the ISP3080 module and what that is. So, uh, this one is a combined UWB BLE fully integrated module. Uh, it has BLE and UWB radios inside uh, and integrated antennas and then all the crystals matching other components so you just need to uh, provide power to this module and you've got a working BLE and UWB radio. Uh, the UWB is uh, the most precise positioning technology available in the market today um, uh, using, using radio so uh, it can be used for location, uh, find me applications, and also it has uh, various security advantages of uh, things like secure entry systems uh, and the like. And then of course the BLE gives you an easy connection to a mobile phone, to a tablet or what have you. Um, so this allows you to, to communicate easily with the module and set it up and configure it and do other things. So this is an unboxing video, so let's start with the box. Here it is. Uh, this is the box you'll receive in recyclable cardboard. And um, so then open it up by just pushing in here, pulling it open. And then the different components, if I just turn it round, are all put in the box like this. So um, you can see the different elements that you receive uh, all packaged up inside. So I won't show you uh, me taking boards out of plastic bags, so I'll just lay the, the, the parts out on the table here. So essentially with this uh, kit, you it comes in, there are two separate elements, more or less, I would say. Um, the first is the test board, which is this one. Uh, so this has the module, the UWB BLE module mounted. So that's the module here, this tiny little thing here, but it has everything inside. Um, and then this board connects to the interface board uh, like this, so it, it's just like a mounts on top on a sort of piggyback fashion. So uh, the board just clicks in place like this. Um, and then this can be then connected up to uh, the computer, your PC, via uh, USB cable, so pop this one in here, um, this, and then the other end obviously goes into your PC. Um, and from that, you can use the programming tools to um, uh, to program the module and start playing with it. Um, so because inside the module it's a UWB transceiver, so that's a pure transceiver, and then a Nordic semiconductor Bluetooth low energy with an integrated microprocessor. It's the Nordic semiconductor part that gets programmed, so you use the standard Nordic semiconductor tools to, to program the module and, and start writing your first applications. Uh, so on this test board, if I just hold it up a bit closer, You'll see there's a bunch of, um, no, it's not really focusing very well. Um, so there's a bunch of, of pinouts here that are a bit hard to see um, in detail on this, this resolution, but here there's the two rows. This basically gives you access to all the IOs on the module, so you can just wire those in by hand if you just want a nice easy way to start doing some basic prototyping of an application. So that's the test board and interface board. Um, the interface board is um, designed to allow you to program the module. Now the other part of the development kit involves uh, these two boards here, which are, this is the anchor board um, and this is the tag board. So what do we mean by anchor and tag? Well, generally, if you're trying to do a position measurement, you would say the anchor as the name implies, is something that's fixed in place, and then the tag is the is the one that moves, and then the anchor is generally designed so with a power source, so you're not too worried about power, but um, the, the tag can be done, uh, powered with a battery. Um, it's important to note that the module that's used in in, in the 
um, in the tag and the anchor, it's exactly the same module. There's no difference in the, in the, in the hardware, but you tend to run different software on it. So with the anchor board, um, you power it up from a battery pack. Um, this isn't supplied in the kit, we assume you have one. So um, there's a USB-C connector there. Um, so you plug it in, this is a little battery pack, and I'll just prop up the anchor here. Uh, there, so that's the, the anchor, and you can see the, they started flashing some green light. Um, and then the, uh, the tag has to be powered up by uh, a coin cell battery, so um, you just put this coin cell, watch the polarity, so it's positive on the, on the top of this, like this, so, um, and you see the lights have changed the pattern, so it's, it's now, there's preloaded software on, on these two boards, so it's now doing a distance measurement between the two. Uh, now, how can you access that? Well, you download our app which is on the Google Play Store if you search for UWB ranging app. Um, I'm not going to show you how to download that but there's full instructions in our development kit. So you have you, you have this app running on the ranging demo. So you do a connection to the tag and if you scroll down you will see um, ISP3080 tag on here. You probably can't read it but believe me it's there. So you connect up that. So you see it's connecting and now it's connected and then you start to see a distance measurement. So it's now measuring the distance between the tag and the anchor. So as you go right close, it drops to, to zero. And then as you move away, you see the distance increase. So I'm moving it off screen now, you can't see it, but um, you can see it's, it's, it's going up and up and up and this measures the distance quite precisely. So this is a classic sort of door opening uh, scenario as is implied by a little graphic on the, on the phone. Um, and the, 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 this is a very secure way of measuring the distance for, for reasons I won't go into here, but there are plenty of articles on our website explaining about uh, secure me distance measurements and relay attacks and all that kind of thing. Um, so this is the the demo and um, now both these components it is possible to as I say it comes preloaded with it with executable software but uh, it's possible to uh, program these as well um, the source code for these applications is is, is available on our github um, but you can if you have a Sega programmer um, you can attach um, by the JTAG connection and that is something you'd have to provide yourself um, to, to these boards and, and program them with your own software or adapt the software we have to do something slightly different. So I mentioned the insights at GitHub. So here, um, I'm just showing you that. So um, you can see it's github.com slash insightsip. Um, and you have uh, the ISP3080 SDK. That's the way you find the, um, the, the the source associated with this particular module. So if you click through on there, you have um, a general API and a two-way ranging demo. And so I'm not going to go into details about all these in the application note. It'll give you much more detail um, about the application note I referred to earlier. It'll give you much more detail about these and how to use them. Um, but uh, it's, it's all using this standard Nordic um, development framework. So um, that's where you can go to, to get the, sort of the software and it's all the open source code for you to look at and use as a starting point for, for your own um, application. So that brings us to the end of our short video. Um, I hope that's given you a good overview of the ISP3080 development kit, what's in it and what you can do with it. Um, obviously it's a quite a complicated kit so with, with a fair few parts so uh, to really get to grips with it you need to, to get hold of one, uh, read the application notes in detail and, and start playing with it. So if you would like to get uh, started with this kit you can buy it either from ourselves or on our online shop on our website. Uh, the address is, is on the um, on this slide although you can probably find it easily enough if you navigate the site. 
Uh, or you can also buy it from our online distributors like DigiKey and Mauser or um, our other distributors as well. Um, so uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you for listening um, and I hope you have some fun with our development kit.